Hey guys, I'm the one you lost, and I'm about to show you how I made this particular artwork, which I'm extremely proud of. So, we are actually doing this speedy. I've decided to uh, shorten the length of my videos, because for the most part, people only watch them to about two to three minutes. So, we are going to be doing five minute videos, just to kind of see how it goes. Um, anyway, this particular artwork was a whole lot of fun to make, because it had a crazy amount of detail. I, I usually don't do poses like this that are a bit more dynamic and the hair everywhere, but I'm super proud of it. I think I could have done a little bit better in the final render, but sometimes you just kind of have to go with what, uh, what you're feeling. This particular sketch was difficult because I couldn't quite figure out the pose. There's probably a ton of anatomy mistakes, but that's okay. That's just how it works sometimes. We, we've got the base colors going now, and with the base colors, I want to plan out the values. Really have it be saturated where I need it to be, and use a multiply layer on top to plan out the lighting. Um, I actually didn't go with the lighting that I initially went with in the uh, sketch, which is okay. Uh, sometimes I feel like maybe I should have stick, stuck with the sketch's lighting, but it is how it is, it's fine, and uh, it turned out pretty good. So now we're about to start getting ready for the line art. I'm just doing some post-processing to really make the uh, artwork look a bit more polished. And you'll notice that I use thin lines. I always use thin lines. It's a huge reason for uh, why my art looks the way it does, is using constantly thin lines. You will also notice I changed the shape of the eyes because the sketch, the eyes I did in the sketch were just kind of bleh. They, were, they weren't that great. Um, also, if you like this video so far, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, helps out a whole lot. And I do walkthroughs on my artwork all the time, and I hope that you will enjoy them. Um, I cheated and I kind of copied and pasted the eyes and did little edits to make it look normal, but I really like how the eyes turned out on this one. It was a lot of work, but it, it just turned out great. I was super proud of it. Uh, lots of detail in the hair and the ears. It's one of those things that it took me a long time to get to the point where I could do things the way I'm doing them in this particular artwork. Um, it's a lot of movement, a lot of leading the eye back to the chest and to the face. Uh, that is my goal. Everything is pointing back towards the chest and the face, which are the focal points of this particular artwork. Um, if you need to, you can slow the video down uh, to a certain percentage if you feel I'm moving too fast for you, but that's... That's neither here nor there. We are doing hair, and hair is going nuts. In particular, whenever I'm drawing hair, I'm looking forward to the fluid motion, and I'm trying to use it to lead the eye where I want you to look. There's always a fluid motion back to the face and to the chest, so your eye is constantly moving where I, as the artist, want you to look. Um, always, 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 and whenever you're doing artwork, try to lead the eye, especially with motion. It's super important. Helps out a whole lot. Um, I actually couldn't figure out what to do with the uh, the top that I wanted her to wear, and that'll be very apparent the more you see me flail constantly trying to figure out what I want to do with the chest and the, and the blouse. But we are in fact nearing the end of the line art, so here pretty soon we're going to start the rendering on everything else, which it, it's kind of okay. I feel I could have done better if I would have taken my time a bit more with it. But every now and then I don't really take my time, and that's, uh, that's a problem that I have. So now we're getting the base colors of the line art. We are changing certain things, adding the character. In a way, it looks like she's kind of like, just very happy, which is kind of the whole point, is to make her look happy. And we're getting all the different tones of the hair in. Trying to figure out again what to do with that top. Can't quite figure it out. Uh, trying to figure out the lighting of the face. Just a, a whole lot of figuring out what I'm doing. Um, I couldn't quite figure out what colors I wanted to use, but I, I ended up figuring it out later. So if you've watched my videos for a while, you'll know that I render super fast, so it's going to be even faster on this particular um, video since I'm doing such a quick video this time. Um, I ended up changing what I was going to go for with the lighting, especially on the character's skin. Um, I wanted to kind of have the lighting be direct and like have the arm cast a shadow over the breast, but it didn't quite work out, but it still looks okay. I went for more of a pinkish hue in the, in the skin than I usually do from kind of my orangish one. I went for more of a pinkish, pinkish one this time. So that was a lot of work, but it's one of those things that I'm doing better. Now we're starting to do the shading in the hair, kind of planning everything out. 
you're almost there. Adding the little accessories and details, some add glow and some post processing, and a multiply layer to kind of add more depth to everything, add glow layer, some overlay, and there we go. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you at Cooper White Shield, Rubeb, Prismic, Prismatic, sorry, 420 Zedan, Camelin, Beer, Night Angel, Andy Scaldito, Shane, Roxa, Zaret, Dalton Lily, Vayner T. Gager, <laughs> Tomps, Double O, Zip, Matthew C., and Dallas Long. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon, guys. Bye.